Before we get into the demo, what I wanted to do is tell you how incredibly valuable uh, VQC was when I first got here. Um, I come from the business world. I didn't really know much about educational data. And I stumbled across VQC and, um, and actually found all these tremendously helpful insights into data, collections of data, uh, reports on data, and tips on how to utilize the data. I still, to this day, in that folder that I carry with me all the time, is the current DQC uh, tips on the actions and the elements you should be collecting, because I use that as part of my strategy on how to drive stuff. So I can't tell you how valuable that was when I first, first got to Georgia and continues to be. Um, so when I got here, one of the things, that the first day I started my job, Kathy Cox sat me down and said, hey, Bob, we just got this grant. Um, and I didn't know what grants were either, but I said, great, what, what's the grant? <laughs> well, it's $9 million to build a longitudinal data system. I said, great, $9 million. And I didn't even have to put a business case together for that. They're just going to give me that, and I have to build this system. And then, what's a longitudinal data system, Kathy? And you said, well, it's this big system where we have all this data and all these kids, and, and, and you can find their longitudinal history. I said, well, that sounds really interesting. So we started going about building that thing. And that was a little more challenging than what I thought it was going to be. Um, but we, we got it built uh, because we went out to the district. So we said, well, what do you want? And uh, they, I always remember, they wrote me what I called the 11-page epistle. Um, it was 10 pages of what they didn't want and one page of what they did want. Pretty much they didn't want the state to get involved with their stuff. Uh, but what we found a way is to help them uh, by giving them back data they had given us. It's interesting that most people don't understand that the historical data that schools have is down in a paper vault, usually in the basement or in some storage room. They don't hold their electronic data. They, they get rid of it because it costs a lot of money. So every year they take last year's data and they delete it and they rely on those paper files and they just use the current year. About 175 to 185 districts do that. About 10 districts have enough money to save that online. So what we really did is when they send that data to us at the state level, we have to save it because we use that for reporting to the federal government. Now again, it's all aggregated. No student level data ever goes to the federal government. We aggregate it to the school level. We send it to the federal government. That's what gets us back about $1.6 billion in federal money. So we have to keep that data. But we have it at the student level data in the state. We, we have all the data that the district sent us. So what we're able to do is take that 10 years worth of data and give it back to the districts. So all of a sudden, those 175 districts who didn't have a historical perspective, now all of a sudden could see six years of worth of history on their students. So here's a teacher just walked in the classroom, had 100 new students that they've got to start on. If they wanted to know if there was an attendance problem, what did they have to do before? Go down to the vault pull five records, look up the records on each one of those kids, create a little spreadsheet, go put those five back at five more, because you're usually only allowed to have five records at a time, and actually create that, that file. That's how they would know if there was an attendance problem. Now, with a click of a button, they know. So I'm not going to go into a big demo of the LDS system. I'm going to focus on the high school feedback report, because even though we've got the LDS system built, the focus of today is on the high school feedback report. So what we're going to do is just show you a little snippet of how LDS provides that uh, avenue for them to get into. So Kelly, what we're going to do is we're going to go into what a, we're going to emulate a school. Okay, so Kelly, if you want to just go into, uh, pick Infinite Campus and pick, uh, what are you going to pick, Sand Creek? Okay. So this is us, and we're just going to do the district dashboard. So this is how we emulate things. This is all demo. It's real data, all obfuscated, which means it's all different names. But it is real data. This is what a principal would log into Infinite Campus, their local student information system. This is what they would see. This is where they have their current information, their bus schedule, cafeteria, meal plans, grade books. That's where this stuff is. That's how they run their school. It's their operating system. We've added that little button at the top right there called State Longitudinal Data System. No, we don't do a lot of branding. We don't want it to look like a state system. That was one of the 11 page epistles. That was one of the things they didn't want us to do. So they click on that button right there. And this, now you just went through the tunnel. You notice there's no IDs, there's no passwords. 
And when you get to the other side of the tunnel, which we're waiting for, apparently there's traffic jam in the tunnel. <laughs> waiting for SLDS, okay. So when it goes through the tunnel, is it thinking? It's thinking. When it goes through the tunnel, it comes up on the other side in the state system. And when it's in the state system, it's going to look just like the system they just left. Remember it was Dundee School District? What is it over on the state side? Dundee School District. It's really the state, but what we do is we copy the local header information off their local operating system and we paste it on the state system. That way, the people who use the system don't feel like they've left someplace else. They sure didn't have to use an ID and a password, so they're in the same place. It's just another button that they click on. So this is the principle. And I'm not going to go through, this is how you do all the differentiation. Paige showed you one of our slides. It takes about two hours to do a real demo of the LDS system because there's tons of features in it. All different ways to differentiate, find solutions, hand them off to kids, monitor the kids as they do the solutions. That's all in the LDS system. But I'm not going to go into all that today. I'm going to just focus on one piece of the LDS system. So we're going to go down to the high school feedback report, which is under the historical dashboard. Now this is a school principal. That's who has access to the high school feedback report. And what you're going to see basically are four charts. This is to help principals understand what happened to my graduates. Did they need remediation? Are they being successful? Is the curriculum that I put in place working for those kids who are leaving? So right off the bat, you can look at that first pie chart. Just scroll down, Kelly, and we have four charts. Each one of these charts are drillable. So I'm going to go through each one of these charts. And I've got a timer over there who's going to tell me when I'm almost out of time. So you go back up. If you click on that first one, it's a, basically a chart of people who went to college and people who did not go to college for that school. Okay? And then you, this rolls up to a district level. It's done at a school level. You can see the different filters up above there where you can pick the years, you can pick the schools that you want. But I'm just going to look at one school and let's just pick one year, Kelly. Let's go up and pick 2008 so that we can just look at one year's worth of data. And you'll see, as soon as you do that, and view reports, it'll change the numbers around because that was looking at five years worth of history. And I'm just going to look at one year worth of history. And what I want to do is I want to stay, you can see the, the percentage has changed a little bit, but if I want to understand who went to college, I can go click on that 70%. And this is all drillable. This is how all LDS works. We try to show you a dashboard at a high level. If you see an area that looks problematic you want to drill into, you just click on it and it will take you down into that. So here's where those students went off to college. You can see that the different colleges, now this happens to be um, Effingham County. And so they're down, you know where Effingham is, down by Savannah. So you're going to see a lot of the colleges down there. And you can see the colleges they went to. You can see the number of kids. You can also, if you scroll over a little bit, Kelly, um, there you go. You can see that we give you all of your uh, subcategories. You can actually see which kids and which subcategories went. And you can actually click on those blue dots and actually drill in and see which students went where. So we can actually take you down to the student level. But this lets you look at the colleges that they went to, and for the first time, we have the technical colleges as well as universities. So this really helps the school principal, guidance counselor understand where are my kids going. Okay, so that's like the first chart, and you can keep drilling down. But I'm going to go back up to the to the dashboards. Five minutes. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one, and I'm going to say, okay, so there is a breakdown of that 70% who went to technical colleges who went to um, USG, and that's going to give you a similar type of report, a little bit more detail. If you go down, Kelly, this next one is going to show you kids who basically um, went to the different colleges, but go ahead and click on, say, the 143, Kelly. Yeah. So this will help guidance counselors because what it'll do is start giving you some ratios of the kids who went to these colleges there is the number of kids who went, but the average grade point average and your average SAT. So now you've got some kind of understanding. If you want to go to East Georgia College, you better have at least a 2.2 and a 644, because that's the average of what it takes to get in. But if you want to go to uh, Georgia Institute of Technology, you better have a 1270, because that's what it takes to get in. So these are things that guidance counselors ask for, for to help them. 
And again, you can drill into those um, blue ones and actually see the students and see you know, how they're doing in school. So go back up again, Kelly, to that last box. I'm, I'm glossing over a lot of the detail because I have only a couple minutes left. So that last one is probably the one that they like the best. And that shows remediation. So all the kids who graduated in 2008 from that particular school, you can see the number who graduated, you can see the number who didn't need remediation, and then you can see the ones who need remediation in math and remediation in um, language arts, both in your technical colleges and in your universities. And if you want to see those 18 kids who need remediation in mathematics, you can actually click on that 18. It'll give you those 18 kids. It'll actually show you how they're doing. So this is the, well, I must have clicked on the wrong one. So it should have went to the remediation button, Kelly. I must have asked you to do the wrong thing. The 18? And does not bring up the 18 kids? No? It should bring up the 18 kids. Just as the full list. My colleges and the remediation. Oh, it shows, okay, I'm sorry. And that one goes to all the colleges, and then you have to click on, I'm sorry, click on the, um, the 27 to get to the one I'm talking about. That, that shows you all the colleges, but if you want to actually go into um, the kids, you can click on the button there. And we've got two spinning circles. So there's the kids, by quarter, what they're doing as far as GPAs and enrollments and SAT scores and but this is actually a lot of principles to see where the kids are doing, how they're progressing, the kids who need remediation. So jump back up. And let's go back to the top. And keep on going up. And there you go as high as you go. And all this stuff, I just want to point out that little um, disc right there, um, little uh, for downloading. If you want to export any of this information into your own computer and work with it yourself, you can do that. You can export it into the different file formats, or you can print it up. So that is essentially the high school feedback report. And I know I'm not supposed to take questions now. I'm supposed to go sit down, and then we're going to have a panel discussion. So thank you very much. That's nice to see you.